Hello. Hi, good morning. Whoa. Let's see if my glasses off. Mm -hmm. I'm actually a medium. Are you? Yes. So are you open to having a reading? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. So I'm getting a, a really strong vibration from your dad, I feel. Wow. And he's with your mom. OK. He said he's with your mom. Yeah. That's I, nice to know. Oh, make me cry. That's <laughs> nice to know. There's a reference to, um, I don't even know what this is, like coal mining? Oh, jeez. Yeah, that's what my dad did. OK. My, yeah. uh, my dad and my grandfathers, my uncles were coal miners, yeah? Oh, so they're all coal miners. Yep, Pennsylvania, this, yep. Yeah, this might Emergent be. Emergent family. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. OK, and who's Jenny? Oh, jeez. It's my mother. Oh, that's your mama. Yep. Okay. Yeah, she, she's funny, because she keeps butting in. <laughs> <laughs> Was she very Catholic? Oh, jeez, yeah. Oh, okay. we love Rose. <laughs> rosaries. That's churches. what I'm seeing, rosaries, <laughs> yes. and she's blessing herself, yes. and she's saying, you don't go to church enough. You are incredible. You're making my day like you would not believe. <laughs> oh, good. Do you have a Lou in spirit, or Louie, or Louis? Oh, my God. Yep, okay. my brother. Um, I feel, oh, my God. <laughs> I feel he's coming through. Now, oh. I don't feel that he passed recently, either. No. OK. Were you very different, like? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. yeah, it's yeah. a very, like, Jekyll and Hyde type of energy with him. Very much so. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. My brother, I mean, I'm going to be honest. I mean, my brother was uh, physically and emotionally and mentally abusive to me. <laughs> I was sort of meek and shy and quiet and, and sensitive. And, I mean, it was, it was awful. I deal with this a lot lately of, like, didn't people know? Didn't, mm -hmm. Couldn't somebody have done something? I always thought that if I knew that maybe he had a mental illness that I could better accept it, maybe think that it wasn't me per se, but. He is telling me that you're, hold on. Jeez. Oh, yeah. I definitely get mental illness with him. He's telling me that you were just the easiest, closest Absolutely. target. My whole life is one reason I got as far away as I could. It's caused the weight issues. Yeah. I've never had a relationship. It's affected that. Yeah. It's uh, affected my confidence, and I never had that high success. Sometimes there's a soul contract. Your brother went to spirit, so you could move on a little bit. He has a different, you know, viewpoint on things now because I just feel with like him on the earth, his energy was like blocking you. He oh, went to boy. spirit to kind of like release that. It's interesting, a lot of the things that you're saying, they kind of relate to me. I didn't have a brother like that, but my dad was that person in my oh, family. I mean, he was just crazy, you know, locking me in closets, throwing me in cellars, you know, not feeding oh. me. Total maniac. I mean, he beat us. I mean, he oh, was just so crazy. Sorry. Talking to you is incredible. I mean, if, if you could tell me how to get part way to where you are, I'd be amazed. Be honest with what happened, you know? I right. think there's such an integrity to that that, like, yeah, this happened to me. Rather than, like, trying to push it away, I'm more just like, well, it's part of who I am, and yeah. I have to deal with that. But your parents and your brother, they feel like you're on a good, a good path. And I sense like they're around you and they love you very much. Oh gosh, I've needed validation mm. and you've just given that to me. I mean, I am so floored by this. This has been the most amazing <laughs> trip in my life. There is a future. I want to spend my life forgiving and just moving forward. I deserve it. I deserve to be happy. I want to enjoy what time I have left in life, and I feel that there's been a calling to move ahead, and just what happened today is like the spirit world was looking out for me today. So I believe.